All right, let's begin. We're going to be creating a classically inspired top-down space shooter game. Make sure as you watch these videos that you watch them all the way through, follow the step-by-step -step instructions, and take any notes that you need. This project comes with a zip file that has all the assets you'll need to build it. I have this downloaded to my computer, but I need to get this onto the flash drive I'm using. So I'm going to cut that out of my downloads directory and go to my flash drive. You should have a Colstock game dev folder already created on your flash drive. I'm going to extract the space shooter assets into the game dev directory, which means I need to delete the space dash shooter off the end. Press extract. This will create your space shooter directory and underneath that there'll be another directory called assets. Inside assets everything you need to build the game. Once again, this is in your Colstock game dev folder. You're going to be putting your project in the space shooter directory. Okay, let's go to the desktop and launch Construct2. We're going to create a new project. We're going to go to File, New, and we're going to choose New Empty Project, and then Open. Awesome. Let's go ahead and save this onto our flash drive. Save as single file from the file menu. On your computer, navigate to your flash drive. Go to Colstock Game Dev Space Shooter. Let's name our project Space Shooter. And press Save. Okay, let's start using Construct2. On the right side of your screen, you'll actually see your project. Right now it says New Project. Let's rename that. Make it Space Shooter. Awesome. Let's go ahead and save. There's multiple ways to save in every program. Construct2 is no different. You can press the disk. You can go to File, Save, or Control s all those will save your project. Every game it consists of layouts. Layouts are where the action happens in the game, so where we put all our objects. Right now it says layout one. We're going to rename that. We're going to call ours space. Construct 2 is unique in that you don't need to know how to program, but they have a drag and drop event system. So we're going to rename an event sheet, which is where we put our code, you'll learn more about that later, to Space Event Sheet. Every layout has its own event sheet, which allows you to code your games. We've got a layout called Space, we've got an event sheet called Space Event Sheet, and we're going to save. Press the disk, Control S, File Save, whatever you like best. Now, in the left-hand side of the screen, you'll see Properties. This is where we can define the attributes of just about anything in Construct2. In this case, we are going to be setting up our project. We're going to change the ID property to com colstock dot game dot space shooter. If you want, you can change the author property. I'm going to go ahead and put my name in. This way, if you ever lose your file, Everyone's going to know whose it is. If you want, you can put in things like your email and website. Now under project settings, we're going to choose space as our initial layout. We've only got one of them. And the size of the window, we're going to change to 800 wide by 800 high. The window is what the user sees when they play the game. This defines its size. We're going to preview all of our games in Chrome. That is our browser of choice. And downscaling, we're going to set to high quality. If you see a pop-up message, simply click continue. All right, on to our layout. Once again, 
Games in Construct 2 are made up of layouts. The layouts are where you put all your objects and then you use the event sheets to code those objects to make them do things. We can set the properties of layouts. So we're going to change the overall size of our layout to 800 wide by 3,520 pixels tall. And our margin, 500 by 500. This defines the overall size of the layout. Now layouts consist of different layers. So space right now has one layer. It's called layer zero, which isn't very helpful. So we're going to rename that. We're going to name it background. Layers are exactly what they sound like. They allow you to stack objects in front, below, one another. So there we are. We're going to change the background layers properties. Specifically, we want to give this layer some color. Go to Other, Custom, one for the red channel, 38 for the green channel, and 68 for the blue channel. This is going to fill the layer with color. There you go. Looks like deep space, doesn't it? All right. Another thing that we could do in Construct2 is we can create all kinds of objects. Objects are the things we actually put on our layouts. And we use the layers of every layout to organize them. So go to the Projects tab, and you'll see that there's a folder that says Object Types. Let's go ahead and practice creating an object. Insert new object. There's many different types. We're going to be inserting a tiled background. And the name that we want to insert it as is Space Background. And press Insert. When you press Insert, you should see a crosshair. And it'll tell you which layer of the layout it's going to be placed on. All you have to do is click, and you'll see an Edit Image dialog box show up. Click the folder. This is going to allow us to import an image. You're going to go to your flash drive. It should be under Colstock, Game Dev. In your Space Shooter directory, there's another folder called Assets. This has everything that you need to build this game. You're going to choose the file, the image that says space-background-512 by 512 PNG. This is a transparent image that we're going to use to create a background. Press open. As you can see, it looks like space with some stars. Close with the red X, and there you go. That is an object on your layout. It's a little hard to see, but we want it to look realistic so you can see that it's got stars. A tiled background is a pretty neat way to do this. It will take your image and it will stretch it. We're going to position it using its properties to the 0, 0. 0, X, 0, Y is actually in the top left corner of your layouts. Now that we have position, we want to size it. We want it to cover our entire layout. So we're going to make it 800 by 3,520. And if you zoom in, zoom out, you will see that now the space background covers the entire layout, which is what we want. But what's space without some planets? We're going to practice inserting another type of object known as a sprite. A sprite is simply an image. Let's go ahead and save before we do that. Control S, file save, go back to object types, and choose insert new object. Choose sprite as the type, and the name is going to be planet blue because we're going to be creating a couple blue planets to make our space layout look realistic. Press insert. The crosshair once again appears. And you're going to click on the layout wherever you want it to go. Go to the folder icon. Once again, Colstock Game Dev Space Shooter Assets. Find the blue planet image. Press open, and that will insert it into the game. 
red X to close. Now we want to create more than one planet. Cool thing in Construct 2 is that you can duplicate these object types to make as many as you want. These are called instances. Control, drag, release. Control, drag, release. Anytime you want to duplicate an object, control, drag, release. So I made about four planets. Follow the same steps to create some yellow and red planets. When you're done, you should have two more object types and you should have some yellow and red planets that you've created on your layout. Notice how in the object tabs in the lower right, it lists all the objects you currently have in your game. Awesome. So this is going to be the background of our game. And so we've put all the objects on a background layer. We're going to go ahead and lock that. There's a couple different ways you can lock your layers. Locking a layer prevents you from being able to add or change it. Click the Run Layout button. And as you can see, it's pretty boring right now, but there's much more to come. Great job. Make sure to save your project.